In this tutorial, we're going to cover how you optimize a how-to using Schema App. Let's start by clicking on Edit. Within how-to, we need to add the different steps. So you can go ahead and click here, and we're going to add a data item. And here we're going to use the how-to create a schema markup strategy as our steps. So we're going to start with the identify key content and business types and add that as the name of our data item. And we're gonna call it how to two. And then here you wanna make sure it's a how to step. Uh, you can do a step or a section, but with a step you can just use text and an image with it. So we'll call it a how to step. Um, so we're gonna call it how to step one um, and then go ahead and create it. Now it's going to prompt us with the additional information. We don't need a list item, but we can enter the text. So in this case, we're gonna actually then put what the steps are. So you can go ahead and here we're going to just capture the step here, paste it into schema app. And you can see that there's some recommended fields. Um, image object is indeed one that we do recommend adding. So you can go ahead and add a data item for the image object. And in this case, we'll use this one here. So we're going to copy that image address and go ahead and call this um, key concepts for the name of the image and we'll put it in the image URL um, and then we'll go ahead and create it. So here we are, we've already gone ahead. We're not going to put a video clip, so we'll say uh, we're done. Oh, it's looking for, again, that URL. We'll go ahead and click done. Uh, done for the key concept and we already have that done. So then if you wanted to add another one, uh, again, you can also add in the, con the text for it, so review eligible Google results. So in this case, we could put this here, and then we're going to convert that to a data item. Same thing as creating it. It's again a how-to step, so we'll go ahead and select that. Um, so it's going to be, again, my, my step two. I'll go ahead and create it. It's going to prompt me for the text, so I'm going to go back to my section here and capture the text, copy that enter that text there. And then again, if you have an image, you can go ahead and add that image object and done. So at this point, I've created two steps. Um, you can carry on and continue to add steps as you need. You can also look at the other recommended fields like description, estimated cost, images, supply, tools, uh, tool time, and videos um, if you want to add those for how to, um, although they're not required. All changes are saved and then you click done. And that's how you do a how-to using Schema App.